Um, hey guys, so this is my look for today. It's just, I can't really say it's a basic hand wound because it's, I don't know. For something that I've done, it's pretty complex. Um, something that I'm really proud of for this one is, I always look back at my pictures. Every time I do these things and I take, I take a picture, I look back and I say, I did not cover the edges. I can see every little edge. It doesn't look as real. The thing that I'm not happy about with this one is how I puffed it up. I was going to make like a giant spider bite kind of thing that like went totally wrong. Um, but I didn't do enough latex on it. And it was an awkward angle filming like this. Because this is a webcam. It's not like a regular. It's not just a camera. It was an odd angle like uh, trying to film this and stuff. And I was going to like make it really big and like puff it up. Maybe put some thread in there. But I just I just decided, you know what? I... No, I'm not doing that today. So, what I decided to do is, if I wasn't going to do that, I was going to make it really, it was going to do a lot of bruising, a lot of color, but still have it work. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I did. I think it looks okay. I think all the edges, you can't see any of the edges at all. And I made sure to, a, a tip, if you want to make the wound look a little more realistic, definitely pull the color out, because if it stops at one point, I mean, you know it's fake either way, but it just adds that extra effect that says, hey, it's... Because, I mean, if you get something like this, it's going to be irritated. So, you know, it... Common sense. Common sense with wounds and bites and grossness, things like this. Um, so, if you'd like to see how to recreate this, stay tuned.